Um, I believe I've not played as much as Chet from what we talked about just before we started recording. Mm. So um, I'll give a quick rundown of what the game is. If you don't know, it's the third. It's actually the, technically the fourth Batman Arkham game, but it's the third one from Rocksteady. Mm. Uh, the guys who created uh, the Batman Arkham series in the first place, and before that, uh, Urban Chaos Riot Response, a game I still have in my drawer, weirdly. Uh, but, but anyway, that's not really the point. Um, it's it's Batman in, in a kind of expanded um, open world, expanded over uh, Arkham City, uh, the second game, but not on the scale of uh, a GTA or or anything like that. Um, kind of doing what Batman does um, in these games, but with the the added bonus of having the Batmobile with him this time. Um, the game starts off with... Uh, actually, I'm not even going to spoil the end of Arkham City if we haven't played that. So, mm. um, From what I've played so far, the polish is of uh, a level, uh, astonishing level. I was talking about polish with, with Yoshi there. Um, I know there's massive problems with the PC version of this game, but I can't worry myself about those. That's kind of like a separate issue. It's, you know, releasing broken games like that is awful. But I bought the PS4 version, and despite, apart from some issues with the leaderboards, which I believe they've already fixed, um, it's it's an amazing, the level of polish and quality. Uh, you text me saying this is like pure, pure AAA, and you can't really argue with that. It's uh, of a level that, that that's rare, say the least. I say rare, but I'm going to talk about three games, which <laughs> are kind of like that. But um, yeah, I, it's difficult because I know you play a lot more than me, so I'm, you're going to have more to say. But I've been incredibly impressed by what I've played so far. I am a huge fan of these games. I'm not like a Batman fanboy. I like the, the Nolan movies a lot, and I've always liked Batman um, as a character. But I'm not. I'm not someone who, who really worries himself too much about superheroes or, or comics. It's not really me but these games have really kind of spoken to me um, Arkham Asylum and Arkham City less so Origins although I didn't mind it and this is just feels after a kind of start where it's perhaps overly familiar you soon learn some new moves and new ideas start to come in the Batmobile starts to come in more I know people have some issues with that later on I've enjoyed everything I've done with it so far and then the story starts to kick in after that and um, does some really, really interesting uh, and exciting things. I won't spoil any of them, but um, for me, already shaping up to be another Rocksteady masterpiece and showing up the fact that Origins, um, although a decent game, just was not anywhere near this level. Yeah, um, no doubt about that. Uh, uh, well, yeah, I mean, uh, although I do have a, a few little issues with Arkham Knight, I just I do think it's the absolute definition of a must-play video game um, for for all of its uh, flaws, and there are there are a few. Um, it is just it's entertainment of an exorbitantly high quality, um, and it's in, inventive and it's really glossy and it's often crazily exciting. Some of the set pieces in it are just, and they, they're, they're streamlined. They've streamlined the side missions so everything's accessible via this radial sort of dial menu, mm. and you can you can basically change the pace of the game essentially if you like, because the main story is really set piece heavy. Even for this series, it's memorable action almost non-stop. Um, in terms of the way the game looks, it's just it's jaw dropping. In the, it really is breathtaking. Yep. Um, I know I've I've steered clear of everything. I haven't even seen a screenshot of this game. I haven't seen a trailer. I steered clear of everything. And I know if I'd have seen the game running a couple of months ago, I'd have said there is no way the finished game is going to look like that, and it would annoy the piss out of me. It looks, yeah, jaw dropping. Yeah. Um, my main problem with the game, and it's only it is only minor, it is the prevalence of the Batmobile. Yeah. Um, the Batmobile, just as a self-contained gameplay device is surprisingly low stakes and surprisingly old fashioned there are a couple of bits well there are a few bits where it's used quite inventively as, a, as like a tool for you to solve puzzles but aside from those it's just turkey shoots it's the kind of straightforward and risk free turkey shoots that you see every year in Call of Duty they're not unenjoyable but I just think there are way too many of them I did wonder why there was so many of them in the, in the main story um, the way the story is told is occasionally very audacious and there are there are several surprises and actually quite a few jumps as well because of how one aspect of the story is handled I, I was startled quite regularly which I wasn't expected I was also a little bit disappointed by how much it appeared to take from the Chris Nolan Batman films I mean I don't read the Batman comics I'm sure there are elements to Batman that are explored just constantly but the, the 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 main villain's evil scheme is taken directly from uh, Batman Begins, and some of the issues about how far Batman's going to go 
you know, a, a straight out of the Dark Knight. I mean, Batman is very violent. Um, uh, this this game actually earns its 18 certificate. It's it, he's a lot more torture happy, and uh, yeah, it seems to be sort of asking some of the similar questions uh, that came up in the Dark Knight. But that was a little bit disappointing to me. It felt like it was retreading old ground. But uh, uh, that might just be one of the things that's perpetually perpetually dealt with. Uh, but yeah, this is still just first-rate stuff. It should not be missed. Um, games like this do not come around very often, um, and I think they should be cherished. I mean, it's gripping and exciting and inventive, and yeah, I mean, it's about as good as games like this get. Uh, and Rocksteady are just like a, an absurdly talented bunch. Mm. Um, but yeah, it, I mean, it's it's, it's I, I've I've loved it. It grips me. Um, there's, there are some weird things in it, though. I mean, like. Batman's essentially killing loads of people and, you know, you're shooting people but there's there's always voices over the tunnel saying, oh god, you should use I'd use live rounds or something like that you know, you're shooting people but they're not dying and the one weird thing that happens is when you're driving the Batmobile and, you know, they establish at the beginning that the only people left in Gotham are criminals so hitting them with your car is something you do all the time but seemingly to try and reassure you that you're not running people over and killing them the Batmobile seems to be electrified, so when you hit people, they get, they get run over and they get frazzled as well. So you're just like, that's got to be worse. I mean, like, if I just hit, <laughs> why hit them and electrocute them to death? Um, so so uh, yeah, that's odd. But yeah, I mean, I, the game's just tremendous, mm. tremendous. 